Right before I started recording, man, my cat, she was uh, walking around on my keyboard and then I uh, had a bunch of dinosaurs and things running around. I, oh, wow, there's something going on outside. Speaking of which, I don't know what's going on. It's madness out there. And speaking of cat, she has returned and is headbutting me and walking all over everything. Uh, see ya, cat. And just like that, she's gone. Obviously, we're going to be crafting a couple of items up today, which, um, oh, look at that. Beaker, what did you do? You laid an egg. How did that happen? There are no Quetzals nearby. Hmm. All right, go, Beaker. You do it. I will take that. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. That's good stuff. Um, I don't remember. Did we... Oh, what? What? What the heck? Where is this going on? What in the heck? Is there something over here? Do I need to just place a bunch of guns everywhere? What is going on? That is crap. I call shenanigans. Is it you? Did you do it? Oh, if you did it, I'm going to be so mad. And why why is no one fighting back if that's the case? Are you are you all not on fight back mode? Oh, that is such crap. Such crap. Total crap. That is a crap fest. Have I said that's crap yet? Because that is so crap. Uh, was it you? If it was you, I'm going to kill you. I don't care if it was you or not. Stop killing everything. Yes, I recognize the irony of that statement. Uh, I'm so not happy right now. Well, I'm KIC. I'm not in a good mood now. I'm really quite upset about that. That's just... Upsetting is what that is. Ugh. I mean, I know. It's just a dinosaur whatever. It's not even a real thing. All of that stuff. I get that. Totally get that. But man, that is just so upsetting when stuff like that happens. I I don't know. I Clearly, I screwed something up and didn't have my pteranodon on the correct setting. So that's, you know... That's my fault. I'm upset at myself as much as anything else. Never mind that stupid dialo. So, ah, man. Still, I'm not a happy camper right now. I suppose, depending on how this goes, I might have one more thing to do today. And I don't really know if we're going to have time for that. I guess, uh, I guess we'll end up in... We'll, we'll see. For those of you who followed me from Series 1 and Series 2, or who maybe... Um, I've discovered this series and gone back in time, whichever, you know, it's all good. You probably recognize this area because this is uh, pretty darn close to where I spent a good, I don't know, a couple hundred episodes pretty much of previous shows, so to speak. And um, yeah, we're kind of in that neighborhood. Tried to take a deep breath because, yeah, I'm still a little, still a little sour about Terra being killed. That's, um, that's upsetting, but... Deep breath. Deep breath. I'll get through it. I'll be fine. It's not the end of the world. Still, it is quite frustrating and annoying, but I will stop harping on it, I promise. The reason I'm over here, we have, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say a few reasons, really. Um, as I mentioned, this is where I spent a lot of time previously, so I have a lot of good memories of this area. Built up a couple bases. This is where we tamed all sorts of stuff. I mean, we're actually... I want to be technical. We're actually pretty close to where we tamed Sauron. Remember that? I was not at anywhere near an appropriate level when I tamed him. Not at all. And yet, it worked out pretty well, all things considered. He ended up being... Well, Sauron was the big man. I mean, that's... It was just that simple. Sauron was the big man. All right, I'm trying to decide how much other stuff I want to grab... Um, no. Let's just, let's just go do this right now, because I'm, I'm going to have more stuff to do, and we can take care of that in a moment. But yeah, right over here, this is actually, I don't, I couldn't tell you the exact spot, but it was basically right about here, right in this area. This is where Sauron was lying down when he was tamed. <laughs> pretty awesome. It was pretty good stuff. I, I rather enjoyed that. You know what? Since I'm going to need to put a bunch of foundations down, let's go ahead and, um, sorry. Here, you can land. I didn't mean to tell you not 
or tell you to fly. Whatever. Cat, you need to move it. Thank you very much. You're going to be a problem because sometimes I think that's your middle name. You can be incredibly frustrating, my dear standard recording cat. Don't get me wrong. I love this cat to pieces. I truly, truly do. But holy cow, can she be annoying. I mean, if you've ever, uh, you know, raised a creature, be it, you know, animal, human, whatever, from basically from birth, you know what it's like to develop a sort of attachment to them. It, uh, it's just the, it's the nature of things. I mean, I was feeding this cat when she was basically, I don't know, a couple days old at best. And, uh, yeah, so I fed her, I wiped her butt, all sorts of things. Yeah, I love this cat to pieces, but man, can she be annoying. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent a lot of good time here. This is around, in general, where we tamed Sauron. I'm going to go ahead and put these ramps on this side. We'll make a couple more. I don't want to spend a ton of time crafting and doing all that sort of stuff, especially since I now need to go create a gravestone. That really annoys me. But I don't want to spend too much time doing all this sort of thing. So, in addition to just plain having some good memories of hanging out over here, and just generally, you know, kind of liking the area, I mean, that kind of is what part of this comes down to. Obviously, one of the reasons I wanted to come over here was so we could make a Stargate. Go ahead and craft two of them. That's perfect. Picked up just the right amount of materials. Now, I didn't want to just craft a Stargate because, well, I just want to craft a Stargate. No. I mean, well, actually, I do kind of, honestly. I really do enjoy making those Stargates and popping them down. They're a lot of good fun. And uh, just so you know, on today's episode, we're not taking care of this. In fact, I probably shouldn't have put that ramp there at all because I really need to put a couple more foundations to complete the look. Yeah, I think that's uh, the way we decided to do that on the other ones. So we're not going to be doing that today. Uh, let's go ahead and rename this to, let's call it S1 slash S2 ish. And we'll just call it that. S1, S2 ish. It's not truly where S1 and S2 took place, but it's ish. It's close enough. So let's go ahead and connect with the console here. So I'm just going to write it down. I know I don't really need to do this, strictly speaking, but I'm going to do it anyway because that's just how I roll. So 639842. My remote works just fine. I don't really need this. I mean, if we want to be technical right now, I can do that. We can dial up the workshop. Um, no? Can I not dial up the workshop? Maybe the console doesn't work, but the remote does? I don't know. What's going on here? Workshop. Ah, that's okay. That's it. So the remote works, the console doesn't because I don't have it in the first slot of my mods. But there you go. Boom. We can get back to the workshop. And I'm actually going to do that right now. That was in part actually super intentional. I just sometimes like to make it look like I do things like random. Anyway, I'm not. I promise. We're going to go ahead and put Beaker down. Beaker, thank you. You have you have served adequately for this particular purpose. I'm going to go ahead and do a force disconnect on the Stargate. Because I want to open it back up. We're not done over there just yet. I need to tell you my last reason. Which you probably can guess if you have watched any of my stuff. You know why I like to go over there aside from it just, you know, being a cool place. Man, I really do like watching that thing animate. Oh, here. Let's make sure we get to watch it pop up too. Oh yeah, I love that. That's good stuff. We're going to go ahead and grab our Spino. And we're going to spin around, get stuck on the taming box, and then walk through the Stargate. Ow, oh, what do you mean? Ah, uh, did I wait too long? Do, do Spinos not work on the Stargate? Oh, I hope that's not the case. Let's try it again. Maybe Spinos don't work on the Stargate. I'm going to say it was just me taking too long. I know, I don't really need to go around to the side. I'm just buying time while I wait for the Stargate to turn on and open. Go through. There we go. I'm going to say, I didn't think that I couldn't take a Spino through. A Giga, probably not so much. Tiny and Mouse, I think they have to stay at base. Unless they go, you know, hoof it on their own. Or, well, I guess I could hoof it on them. Assuming I had 
the requisite saddle to do so or fly them around. But I don't, so that's not really going to happen. All right, so here is the last reason why I have come over here and decided to build a Stargate in this general location. You, you got to know this one by now. You really should. I'm just telling you. If you don't know, then... Well, I guess I'm going to tell you, but you should know by now. Where are you? I am not starting in the right spot, so this is just making it altogether confusing. Hmm. I haven't been over here recently, I don't think. I don't think I have? I don't remember. When is the last time I was over here? Crud. Well, now it makes no sense at all why I'm over here. Right? Yeah. All right. Come on over here. Follow me around. You are, after all, a water dinosaur, so... It'll work out just fine. I know, I'm cold. Whatever. It'll be fine. Okay, there you go. That's why I'm over here, because this is my preferred location to find pearls. I haven't really, to this point, found a better location. I'm sure it exists. I just haven't found one that I prefer. That's really what it comes down to. Oh, there's the pause. And zoom. Look at that. Good stuff right there. I see some trilobites, so maybe we'll, um... I don't know, maybe we should... Maybe we should grab our dino right here, since we do have a big dinosaur handy. And let's just eat some trilobites. I was kind of hoping to be able to do a little more than that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really going to work. Never mind that. It's it's going to take her, I think. You're a her, right? You're new, so I, I'm using that as my excuse for why I'm not entirely familiar with your gender. You're new to the team. You're female. Okay, good. I got it right. That makes me feel a little better. I at least remembered. That's something. All right, are there any more pearls around over here? Because I don't normally go all up and down this little kind of inlet. Maybe I should. Oh, we should probably grab that. We are technically, if you want to be thinking about it this way too, we are in an area where it's pretty, pretty quick to get a bunch of crystal. I know we do have the southeast mountain that we can go to from the Stargate, so... That is absolutely one way in which we can get some crystal, but sometimes it's just nice to be able to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and do this just because I can get some additional chitin if I do this. Let's go ahead and grab another one, and it's pretty quick for me to stab them with a spear and then harvest them, so why not, right? I know, you're running away. I apologize. You're just a friendly little trilobite, and I'm killing you because I'm just a big, stupid human. What do I know? All right, let's go ahead and spin this girl around. Oh, look at you. You would be a shark. You probably don't want to mess with my Spino. She's pretty ridiculous. She's also stuck on an ice flow. So let's go ahead and turn her around and see if I can get her dislodged. There we go. And get her stuck on a different one because that's just how it's going to be, apparently. So there you go. This is really in part why I'm over here. I guess if you want to get downright technical, yeah, we're also pretty close to... Oh, I don't know, the snowy biome. So we do have some snowy-type creatures. I say snowy, I know. It's not really snowy, necessarily, but the cold biome. So we do have access to other creatures that way. Mammoths, more woolly rhinos, cats, dogs, that sort of thing. So we don't actually have to go very far to get anything. And if you want to look at it, if you bring up the map here, I'm technically on the other side of the map. So this right here is a really fast way via the Stargate to get all across. Oops, sorry. Keep going. Keep driving to get from one side of the map to the other in about, oh, I don't know, what does it take? About six or seven seconds, because you got to account for the Stargate to warm up and, you know, all that sort of thing. There you go. Get some more chitin that way. Not to mention some fresh meat. Oh, yeah, speaking of, I have some fresh meat. There you go. You can hold on to that. So we're going to go ahead and take the Stargate back. And since we do have one last thing to do, I, I decided I should probably save a little time and do that. We're not going to worry about terrorizing everything over here, even though there are absolutely things that could be terrorized. We're just not going to worry about it. Look like there are birds, cats, uh, a couple different kinds of birds, actually. But uh, we're not going to worry about that for right now. Let's go ahead and get her level right quick. I have been working on her damage, so we are getting her close to 300%. She's quite the beast. She's pretty awesome. I like her a lot. And then we'll go ahead and let me just pop off of this guy. And then we'll go ahead and queue up the workshop. I still would like to put in a Stargate at the lake house, so I will be doing that. I just haven't done it yet. Considering how close it is to the workshop, I haven't made it a priority because, you know, look at how much distance we just covered. I mean, just like that. Pull up the map. Look at that. Boom. We have just covered, I mean, even on a fast flyer, that's, um, 
a good couple of real-time minutes just to cover that distance. So, you know, pretty awesome, I think. Pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and... Uh, nope, wrong one. Let's zoom back in. Where is... Where did I leave Beaker? You are over here. You're pretty fast, and I think you have what I need on you. Let's see. Uh, yes, you do. So, who's following me? Oh, you can stop that. So sorry. Forgot to tell you not to follow me. My bad. Totally my fault there. Let's go ahead and fly over this way. I'm going to take a moment and grab... I don't remember how much I need. I think that'll be close. What do I need? I need some more stones. So we're going to grab some more stones along the way. Let's just actually pop down right over... Um, we can pop down right here, right next to this guy. And that we can use that as an excuse to see if there's anything worthwhile in this too. Um, Sure, we'll take that. It was about to vanish, so I figured why not. Grab some more stones. There we go. And I should be able to create a gravestone now. So we'll go ahead and queue up the gravestone. I really don't enjoy this part of the game. I mean, you know, you got to do it. We got to do it. And I apparently can't jump on Beaker. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't enjoy making the gravestones. I mean, it's not really an enjoyable thing. You know what I mean? Oh, look at that. We got another... Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that's, uh... Ah, uh, you know what, here, let, let's, let's park you properly. Let's put you up here. That's fine. I can, I can walk or I can take Polly down. Here, we'll take Polly. Uh, hmm, Fred, I'm, I'm, I'm carrying way too much for Polly to handle. Oh, uh, man. I don't really have anything I can drop either. Uh, gravestone, crystals. I guess we can drop the crystals off in here. I'd like to take Polly for a spin. Now let's go and put the crystals in. It's not really enough, but, uh, you know, whatever. It'll be fine. Flap, my friend! Flap! Flap in honor of Terra. There you go. So, we gotta do it. It's our way to honor our fallen comrades and, uh, you know, thank them for their time with us, for allowing, for allowing them, for allowing us to share time with them. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't speak. Let's go ahead and put in Terra. And there we go. So, Cat, thank you very much. Good timing. Knock into everything. Terra, Blaze, who didn't really die. Spino number one, Blazkowicz, Rappy, Red Baron, Red Dawn, and Esmeralda. Yeah. Good times. Good times. But at this point, we need to call it an episode. And uh, I don't know, maybe I should go inspect the additional dam that has popped up. I feel like that's that's at least a good thing. That's that's cool. We got another dam. Oh, our Dilo is wandering around. He hasn't died. I guess that's a good thing. Looks like there's probably stuff uh, a little bit in there, and this one should be full. Oh, no. That one has nothing in it. Well, I'm not going to take it because... Oh, sorry, guys. So sorry. Nope, oh, Polly, don't do it. Leave him alone. Polly, let go. <laughs> ah, crud. Get out of here, Polly. Run. Die low. Follow Polly because I don't want you to die to the crazy giant beavers. Or accidentally kill one, which I don't think is possible for a Dilo at this point. But whatever. Whatever. We're going to get out of here. And with any luck, I'll lose them and they won't attack my little Dilo and I won't have to kill them. That's my hope anyway. So I'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.